This is the Chinese cooking channel called Chinese Cooking Channel. Today we're going to sample some of this uh, gin and herbal drink. Here's a gin that we put with the uh, different herbs uh, last year. So it's almost a year. So another 10 days is one year. So you see the liquid uh, develops this uh, nice color. Toast to all my viewers. So this is gin with uh, Chinese herbs. It's uh, really good for your health. At least that's what they say. Woo, that's nice. That's really nice. This is a herbal drink that my grandfather used to make. So these are traditional Chinese herbs. We put this uh, in a container. We put some alcohol of your choice. I'm going to this Chinese herbal shop to do some shopping for Chinese herbs and ingredients. So here you can have the varieties of uh, ingredients that you need. You have some yuan. What about yuan? Yuan. 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 Okay, something yuan in uh, English. You have the uh, Chinese red dates. And over here you have the the uh, southern almonds. These are the small ones. So the northern almonds are larger. Here we have different varieties of herbal ingredients that you can use in your recipes. So just write the name of the uh, ingredient in English, if you don't know how to say it in Chinese, and take it to one of these stores and they'll find the items for you. My grandfather used to make this and sometimes he put different kind of uh, meats in there. One time uh, they found a beaver for him. So after a few months uh, it was sealed and then after a few months my, my grandfather took out the beaver and he had a nice uh, herbal drink. So what I've done, actually I've got this uh, strainer here. I'm going to pour the uh, gin in. So I don't know if I actually broke the bottle, the top. So actually I did break it. So I broke, I broke the uh, top of the bottle here. So what happened is I broke it and I don't know how to open it. So there's no instructions. Anyway, I broke it open. There was a marble in the middle of this thing. And I'm just going to use this strainer in case it's plastic that's broken. So we're just going to pour the alcohol in. And it doesn't pour. Oh, there it is. The whole cap comes off. So you pour the uh, gin in there like this. So just put a date on the bottle so you know when you uh, made this. So usually the minimum is about three months soaking it. Uh, better even if you uh, drink it after about a year. These are pretty standard herbs that we use. We often use these herbs in soups, Chinese herbal soup. But you can also soak it in alcohol the way we do it here. So make sure you uh, check with your local health, uh, Chinese health store personnel. To see what's uh, best for you. There's different benefits for different herbs. So enjoy! To all my viewers, uh, thanks for your support and I wish you all the best. Wow, that's really nice. It's a uh, gin, but it's got a real nice uh, sweet taste from the herbs and all the different herbs in there. It gives it a very unique taste. So if you get a chance, uh, Give this drink a try and it's going to benefit your health at the same time. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. Thanks for checking out my video and be sure to give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe so you can get the next new video. And thanks to my viewers for helping me win the top 20 best Chinese food blogs in the world. And also I was awarded the top 40 China YouTube channels in the world. And also uh, please subscribe. Just press the button.